Well, a very pleasant good morning and welcome again to another live presentation looking at the character of God. What is God really like? And today we want to see how the Lord plans or he planned to put down the rebellion of Lucifer. So the character of God, the nature of his government and the principles of his dealing with sin are the great mysteries to be understood in all of us in order for us to serve God are right. So let me go that again. The character of God, the nature of his government, and the principles in which he deals with sin needs to be understood by all in order for us to serve him are right. The controversy will not end until these things are set are right. So how does God plan to put down rebellion? We saw the last time in our second installment, Lucifer, the anointed cherub, the one who was also created, he became Satan. And that was through self-exaltation and a desire to be first and wanting to be God with God or to be God. You remember the war in heaven was a polemic war. It was a war of uh, controversy over ideas, ideologies, and philosophies. But specifically, it was over the Son of God and his right and his right to rule. Satan wanted that position. He contended, just as politicians do today, that his system of government is superior and that he should be in the position of God. And through his high intelligence and position as light bearer, he deceived a great company of angels. And we have no doubt it was a great company. We hear of their number, their order, and so on, especially in their fight against Jesus when he came upon the earth. John 8, 44 tells us that he's the father of, of lies and that whatever he says it is not true. So it is true deception and his high position, his high intelligence, that he, 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 he took a third of the angels. But God is so wise. God permitted Lucifer. And listen, this is, this is the character of God. God permitted Satan to carry forward his work until the spirit of disaffection ripened into active revolt. That, would you think that was a risk? That, that's the love of God because he understands the controversy. He knew of the rebellion of Satan and of man. He is not taken by surprise, so he has a plan. Yeah, It was necessary for Satan's plan to be fully developed that their true nature and tendency will be seen by all. Rebellion now was full-blown. Satan went around the heavenly courts. And I could imagine God would have born long with Lucifer. But the Bible says that he lost his place. Revelation 12 tells us that in the book of uh, Titus, or Jude rather, we are told that he left his first estate. But it is described as he being cast out of heaven. Satan could find no more place to tend that type of behavior. So the true character of the usurper, what would God do? What would God do? What would we do? We have seen God in a wrong light, but we need to see what he would have done. The true character of the usurper and his real object must be understood by all. He must have time. So God allowed him time to manifest uh, himself by his wicked works. You see, the whole universe must see the deceiver on mass. That's why the questions are asked, how could all this evil go on under the rule of one who is sovereign? God understands that when this deception is planted in the mind, he, he has to allow time. To many minds, the origin of sin remains a, a, a great complexity, but God has a plan for it. Praise the Lord. Had he been immediately blotted out, think about this. Had he been immediately blotted out of existence, some would have served God from fear rather than from love. God could not take that risk. The influence of the deceiver would not have been fully destroyed, nor would the spirit of rebellion have been utterly eradicated. God must think quickly, and God know all, knows all things. But then there is something marvelous that is said in Revelation 1, uh, sorry, 12 and verse 10. It says, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. Listen, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down. So the casting down of Satan took place at the death of Christ. Christ, the Lord had to wait for all those years, the creation of man and then the death of Christ for Satan's character to be fully revealed. So then God uses only love. He uses self-sacrifice. When Satan would have sought to exalt himself to the throne of God, God used love. God could have destroyed Satan as easily as one can cast a pebble to the earth. Oh, praise the Lord. But he did not do this. Rebellion was not to be overcome by force. Compelling power is found only under Satan's government. The Lord's principles are not of disorder. That's the power of the cross, that through death, 
he might destroy him that had the power of death we are told in hebrews 2 14 that is the devil and verse 15 says and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to death i just have a few seconds and i want to read this for you um it is from a young man from accra ghana he says he quotes violence force and compelling power never establishes peace his name is emmanuel ishan it says it only hides the rebellion it beats the rebellion into the shadow where the rebels become obedient outwardly and that's my and that's my uh, my alarm <laughs> They, they become obedient outwardly but remain rebels in heart the rebels await the opportunity to revenge by gathering a bigger force whether by intelligence the slander deception or ingenuity i want to read it again violence force and compelling power never establishes peace it only hides the rebellion it beats the rebellion into the shadows where the rebels become obedient outwardly but remain rebels in heart the rebels await the opportunity to revenge by gathering a bigger force, whether by intrigue, slander, deception, or ingenuity. Glory to God. So I'm Pastor Roger Kester of the Lord Cry team, and that's another installment. I trust that we were following, and another one awaits come Monday. Have a good weekend, and God bless.